Welcome to the real Flexible workshop. My name is Jami and I'm gonna be showing you how to create a concrete texture in Photoshop so we can use later in Maya. I got this concrete floor image from CG Textures and I'm going to open it in Photoshop and the whole purpose for this is to hide the seams of our texture map so it is hard to notice that it has been repeated across the floor. So what I like to do is crop the image on the square. And we also want to make sure that we don't uh, include any obvious uh, details, like for example the cracks, which uh, you can, it will be really easy to identify with the floor that is a, a texture that has been repeating. So this is uh, actually a pretty good uh, spot to to choose. So we're going to crop it and I'm also going to resize it to run the number like 1600 pixels. Now the next thing that we want to do is go to filter and offset and move it right on the middle. So if you see what this does is give us the, uh, the seam. If we plug this right into our Maya scene, this is this will be the scene that we'll be looking at, which is not that bad, but you don't want to have the repeat being obvious once you have it across the floor. I'm going to move some guidelines in the middle and I want to match the color and lighting across the seams. So I'm going to create a new layer and by selecting one of the quadrants, I'm going to paint with a white soft brush over the seams to match all four quadrants. We see the difference. It's gone lighter on the, on the edges and it starts to blend better with the next style. And also let me turn down a little bit the opacity maybe. So we have an even color around our texture map and to blend the colors even more I'm going to desaturate it. Our next goal is to get rid of the seams right here in the middle. So I like to use the, the spot healing brush tool and just go really slowly through the seams. First of all, let me merge these two layers. So what it's going to be doing is going to, with a proximity match, it's going to try to match what's around the selection. So as you can see, kind of like the seam is gone already. You can tell that there was a seam here. And next we're going to be using Crazy Bump to extract our normal textures. <laughs> 